So first we will start cost of debt. Let us start please. This spreadsheet I have already uploaded in the LMS and I hope you all download it. We can, uh, you can work with that. So go through the heading here, calculation of cost of debt of Cisco. All of you, you can find this. Now, source I have given Cisco balance sheet and income statement. Cisco's balance sheet and income sheet statement or annual report. We have discussed in the theory, if you remember, for calculating cost of debt, there are many approaches are there. One of the most important approach is taking the interest, taking the debt, and calculating the cost of debt. We have used that approach. So first we have seen at the very beginning we, we have extracted how much debt Cisco has. In the balance sheet when we have visited the balance sheet we have found the debt are 9018000000 uh, debt is there for Cisco. So I have noted down here. All right. Now I have gone to the income, uh, interest will be available in the income statement. So I have gone to the income statement. There I found the interest. The interest of Cisco is for the year 2021, the interest of Cisco is 429000 Now time for calculating the cost of debt. Interest divided by debt. So, you can ask me, doctor, why you have calculated the debt of 2020 and 2021, but interest only for 2021? Is it like that? No, it is intentionally done. When you are calculating the cost of debt of a company, for 2021, you cannot take 2021 debt, right? Two approaches are there. One is, take the previous year debt. So, for Cost of debt of 2021, you have to take the debt of 2020, right? Another approach is which I am using here, average of 2020 and 2021. Debt average of 2020 and 2021, I have used here. So, cost of debt 4.166, how I calculated? Interest divided by average debt of 20 and 21, all right? So 20 debt plus 21 debt divided by 2. That's why you can find O3 plus N3 divided by 2. That is the average debt being taken. All right. Clear. Then cost of debt is there. But this cost of debt, dear friends, is unlevered cost of debt. Debt is a tax saving instrument we have discussed. So we have to also calculate the levered cost of debt or post tax cost of debt. For levered cost of debt, we need the tax rate. When you are doing for a real life company, like we are doing here, you will not be provided directly somewhere written. Tax rate is this much. No, you have to calculate. How you will calculate? The income tax divided by pre-tax income. So again, income statement, go to the income statement, find out the taxable income or pre-tax income. In the last lecture, I have written on the board, if you remember, income, I have explained the income statement, then uh, EBIT minus interest will be the pre-tax income or taxable income. That is given here. Pre-tax or taxable income is 1326 All right, clear. Then we need the income tax, which is there in the income statement again, 2671 All right. Now, income tax divided by pre-tax income will give you the tax bracket. 20.14% is the tax bracket of Cisco for the year 2021. All right. Now we have a pre tax cost of debt is there 4.166 multiplied by 1 minus tax rate will be the post tax cost of debt or after tax cost of debt 